watching this is the market update segment on business today and on today's episode we are here to talk about the insurance industry in Sri Lanka and to do so we have with us Roshini Silva the chief executive officer of Colombo Reinsurance Brokers Private Limited good evening and welcome to the program good evening Prasha all right let's start off uh, with uh, an introduction about uh, the insurance industry in Sri Lanka and some of the developments um, insurance industry in Sri Lanka, Prashant, we have currently about 28 insurance companies, 13 general insurance companies and again another 13 life and two composite insurance companies. If we take it as an industry, currently our market penetration is about 1.4% compared to the global penetration of 7%. Mm -hmm. uh, if we take America, it's about 11%, Europe again 5%. And if we take Asia Pacific, again 5.3%, which means if we take Sri Lanka as a market compared to global market, we are at a very lower level and we are a very small market. Right. But it means that we have a huge opportunity and the market is picking up. Okay. And what are some of the benefits of having a proper insurance plan? Insurance is, Prashant, it's like risk taking, that is you find a way of managing your risk. When you have a proper insurance plan, then you're protected. So all these unforeseen events, your uncertain risks are covered. When you don't have a proper insurance plan, then you're at risk, whatever the cost that you have to bear or whatever the losses of yours, you have to manage, then you're, you're not protected. But you know, when you have a proper insurance plan, all your risks are peer, uh, looked after. Okay. And how does one come up with such an insurance plan? Uh, it's like this, Prashant. First, you need to be educated. We all know that we need insurance. Mm. But the thing is, you don't understand the value of insurance. For that, we need to do a little bit of educating the people and to show them what are the uh, benefits of having a proper plan. Let's say uh, motor insurance, that is mandatory. So right. you tend to take at least a third party cover, but health insurance is not. For that, you have to be educated and we have to constantly educate people. We have to show them the value of insurance uh, to tell them what are the opportunities and also give them a cost effective um, plans. Okay. To get insurance. Right. Now, when it comes to developing such a plan, how does a company such as Columbia Reinsurance Brokers come in? How do they help? Kalambari, the um, I think the best part of Kalambari is we always use our expertise, Prashant. When we see an opportunity, when we see a risk, we just don't go and give them the options. What we do is we go through the risk uh, very carefully. Then we get the options. We, we see what are the, not only from the local market, even from the overseas market, mm -hmm. we see what are the best options that we can get, what are the terms and condition and also the cost effect options that we can get that is where the columbary always stand different from the other competitors in the market we are actually one of the insurance brokers who have marked uh, our presence in more than six countries just because of that our expertise we always see the uh, see the risk and the opportunity and also we consider the cost also and uh, my my main concern is Prashant, customer, whatever the customer's requirement, you can't say no. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure somehow we find a solution for them. And from that point onwards, until we finish lapses the cover or we renew the cover the next year or when there is a claim, our service continues. Okay. Now, let's talk a bit in depth about some of the options uh, in the market when it comes to insurance. Options are like this, Prashant. When you take insurance, you have three ways of buying insurance. Mm. One is directly from the insurance companies, that means from the direct marketeers. And then the next option would be the agents. Agents are the persons who are registered from to work with one particular insurance company. But when you take brokers, brokers are registered by IRCSL and they can work with any of the insurance companies and most of the brokers have both general and life license and they can work with overseas reinsurance. So those are the three main options that a client would have when shopping for insurance. Right. Now, when it comes to the insurance market, how has it changed from the way it used to be 
and uh, because of some of uh, the challenges that we faced in uh, the previous years how has it changed yeah prashant it's like this from 2020 onwards there was a decline in the market growth because of the covid pandemic but from now the market is picking up because we all are facing financial difficulties now and with the current situation of the country people are now very well aware about insurance now they know even if we take take a health insurance plan if you go to a government hospital there are no much medicines no no any procedures to follow most of the people now struggle and we as brokers now see a tendency of requesting for a health insurance options what but the challenge now we are facing is currently now market we don't see many products which is affordable to the general public we as brokers now we are constantly working with the insurance regulators and with the insurance companies to see what are the cost effective benefits that we could offer to the general public for them to get a proper insurance cover insurance is something like this prashan when the base is bigger then the cost is lesser mm. so we need to get more people to be uh, part of these insurance products and for them to get the insurance for us to reduce the premium so we are as brokers and as industry in the process of educating people of what they are right and what are the best options in the market is okay and how do you think sri lanka can develop the insurance market just uh, like i said we need to educate people we need to educate people and we need to get proper products to the market that is where we are lacking prashan if we take even the middle east countries we see even for the laborers they have very attractive packages which is which are affordable but when you take sri lanka currently there are none none of the products are catering the general public the lower low income category of sri lanka mm -hmm. so like we have this third party policies which is 1000 rupees for motor insurance we need to plan something even for the personal insurances as well where people can afford where they can pay a monthly premium or such to get a proper cover we are all need to work on that even the government even from the hierarchy is regulatory point of view we need to educate people and we need to push the insurance companies to work towards that okay and when compared to some of uh, the existing brokers in the market what is the specialty of kalamburi Kalamburi we are in the market for last 15 years uh, Prashant so the best part of Kalamburi when you because we serve most of the blue chip companies in Sri Lanka so what are the best of, like i said we always look for the risk we go through the risk very properly we have a technical team we have expertise in the market so we go through their risks very properly and get what is best for them and also from that point onwards like i said before our service will continue we do regular reviews we do continue of uh, maintaining a good business relationship with the insurance companies with the reinsurance companies as well as the client that leverage and that the relationship we have is very important to us and i always advise my team that i don't mind them not bringing new business to the company but whatever the businesses we have in and we have to make sure that we remember that they are with us throughout so it is very important uh, for us to give them a good service and mm. for that i have a great team so i believe in free team work always so um, we have marked our presence in more than six countries because of this that's our success right now you mentioned something very important which is uh, retaining uh, the client base which you have and what would you say are some of the tips and uh, some of the ways that we can retain uh, existing clients insurance is what uh, even in this era prashan how uh, develop the technology is i personally believe insurance is a very personal thing and you need to have that i have i give 100% attention to all my clients personally mm -hmm. so it when you are in insurance you have to make sure that you you give that assurance and protection to your client because he is looking for a protection mm -hmm. and they have lots of things to do because they are business is very important to them so we have to take that weight of insurance from them and to protect them so my only advice and my only tip would be the customer service mm. you no matter what 
don't ever say no to them somehow find a good uh, whenever they are in need find option for them there are limitless of options in the market if we can't find it from the local market go to overseas market go to any of the reinsurance and design the cover as per their requirement right. so when even when covid happens that is area that we are still struggling we are keep on talking to our reinsurance to see when there is a business loss a revenue loss how we could cover them likewise we have to give that assurance to the to all our clients that we are with them always okay that's my secret right and at the beginning of the conversation you mentioned uh, there are different types of insurance life insurance so on and so forth how do they differentiate uh, with uh, one another Life, if we take life insurance, Prashant, it's a long-term cover. At least you need to continue the cover for more than five years. But when you take general insurance, there are two categories, general and life. General insurance are more or less, uh, it will cover for a year. So we have uh, different types of products in the market. Most of you all know about motor insurance. Motor insurance, that actually dominates about 50% of the market share of general insurance. Right. So we have motor insurance, health insurance, and when we take corporate, we at Kambori, we are very particular about corporate insurance policies as well. So uh, when you take corporate insurance from the fire to their indemnity, their liability, workman compensation, and everything is covered. Okay. You have, like I said, you have all the options. It's just a matter of go and finding that uh, proper option for your client. Right. And have there been any new types of uh, insurance which have emerged with uh, some of the developments we've had? Yeah, but now in the market I see a huge uh, potential for the professional indemnity cover. Okay. Because this is a era, Prashant, the legal cost is rocketing, legal mm. cost is rocketing. When you take professional indemnity, that is something where you cover your client for the services that they offer. Right. Because this is a era where you, everyone is trying to sue you for mm. whatever the mistakes that you do. So I see a good potential for that market for the professional indemnity cover and the health insurance is picking up. Life is yet to because of the financial crisis most of the people still get the back foot of investing in a life insurance. We have to work towards life insurance in okay. that say. Uh, those are the new developments in the market and also business interruption cover. Right. Those are the covers now emerging in the current market. Okay. Now, when it comes to uh, life insurance and general insurance, I'm sure there are different procedures to uh, get an insurance in each of those categories. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, how it would differ getting life insurance versus one of the subcategories of general insurance. Yeah, if we take, uh, if we compare life insurance versus uh, health insurance, when you are taking a life insurance cover, you can. Most of the life insurance covers you can pay monthly. You can tailor made your product, mm -hmm. tailor made your product according to your need, according to your income, and it, de it uh, based on your salaries and your age and what are the covers you want. General insurance you can always tailor made it to annual policies. Okay. You finish the policy within a year whereas life policies you have to continue but the beauty of life policy would be you can get a return you get a whenever you you pay for a particular period you get a return but general insurance product is not as such if you get a claim or not that particular policy lapses from that one year mm -hmm. so you can renew the policies yearly but not like a life insurance product so life insurance is it's not that easy to convince Right. Convincing part is the problem, but uh, why would you say that is? That is because of the less education in the public. Right. Okay. It's uh, because if we uh, talk to our agents, you have to at least chase a client for more than three, four months mm. to sell a life insurance. That is purely because they don't see the value and the benefit of life insurance. Right. And uh, well, like you mentioned, I guess we should educate the public more about this. Yes. Well, thank you so much. That was Roshini Silva, the Chief Executive Officer of Colombo Re Insurance Brokers Private Limited. Thank you for sharing your insight and your knowledge with us. Thank you so much, Prashant. Thank you. And that winds up today's episode of Business Today. Do join us next week as well for the very latest in business entrepreneurship and much more in Sri Lanka and overseas. Till next time, have a good night.